Hello, this is Atif Mahmood, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the DNS server for your server 2008. For this role, you will have to log in as the administrator your computer and also make sure you have installed there are two actually ways to install the dns server first if you go to server manager and go to roles and make sure you have an add roles click next and see the active directory domain service should be installed uh, they work both together for the DNS server you can install DNS server by just checking from here if you select the DNS server and click next and there is another way I'm gonna show the way I'm going to install it's called running by DC promo exe right, so let's go go to install DC promo dot exe I will repeat again it's DC promo dot exe again to complete the DNS process now it will check the binaries for that so if you are installing DNS for the first time you will have to just go ahead click next but if you are creating a domain tree or a tree between the uh, in a existing forest then you will have to go use advanced in case we are installing the DNS for the first time on this computer we'll go ahead and click next uh, read the information if it is necessary it's helpful click next and existing if you are going to install an existing forest so we are doing a create a new domain in a new forest click create a next create a new domain in a new forest click next and the domain name I am going to give it that would be www.tvcc.cs this is going to be our domain name it will check if the if it exists in the forest it does not so verifying the net bios and this is the forest functional level that you want to select in my previous video i have showed you how to install the active D video this is pretty much similar same video but i am going to show you basically how to activate the dns and the installation of what is the difference between both of them so we'll select the windows server 2000 r2 click next dns server role click next I uh, yes computer will use an IP automatically assigned by a DHCP server yes if you have IP address scheme set up for DHCP server click that option a delegate for the DNS server click yes and click next and give it the password you want to give it give it a good password that you will remember and click next and make sure that everything seems okay click next and now it's installing the DNS installation to finish if you check this box on the completion of DNS installation it will automatically restart the computer but if you don't then you will have to manually check restart your PC but it does need a reinstallation I mean reboot your uh, restart your workstation after installing the DNS server so I'll go ahead and forward a little bit it takes a little bit time depending on your computer performance speed here we go completing the active directory to main service installation wizard with the DNS has been completed so we'll go and click finish and it will restart the computer now the computer is restarting applying computer settings and setting up the uh, active directory services including the DNS service like I mentioned before 
it is necessary to have both things to install if you're installing active directory you need a dns to be installed and if you are setting up a dns and you need active directory for that i am actually fast forwarding it the computer is back up we will log in as the administrator to see uh, let me finish the settings so we can see what is going on in the recording log in as administrator computer is back up and let's take a look there we go the DNS server has been installed on server this is the DNS server and it completes this activity for installing the DNS server and thank you for watching this video